Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at my new HK VP9B. I have always wanted one to own for myself. I've shot my friend's VP9. In my previous video I said I shot my friend's. I got a lot of comments about that. I never shot my friend's, but I did shoot their VP9s, one in particular, quite a bit. And I, I really fell in love with the pistol. You know, everything that has been said about the VP9, I found to be true, most positive. And I wanted one for myself. 750 all day long is what you're looking at it. I ended up getting this for a little over 650, like 653, 654 from guns.com. I had a couple discount codes, big spender discount and things like that. I talked about that in my previous video, but here it is. And I went with the B, the push button magazine release, because it's a little bit more common to me. You know, most handguns come with that push button magazine release. It is reversible and the slide stop is still ambidextrous. So for the most part, it's an ambidextrous handgun, much like the paddle releases on the trigger guard. This is my HK45. Drop the mag there. Lefties would like that because it is ambidextrous as well as the slide stop. But you know, I went with the B and I have no regrets. They now make these optic ready where you pick your optic afterwards and then you purchase a plate. They send you a plate. So you can see that, it, you know, the costs add up quite a bit with HKs. They do a great job with Ergos. And I've always said that HK Ergos feel great. If you go with this, you will see you will get two 17 round mags, a speed loader, a couple additional back straps, and grip panels. Okay, right here. You can switch those off to really custom fit your hand size. I kind of like the way it feels in the case with my average size hands, but HK does an excellent job with ergonomics, and the VP9B is no different. And I do like the fact that they were able to crank out two more with the same magazine pretty much same magazine it does have a full rail there front serrations that it has a striker fire indicator right there where that dot will go it's embedded pretty deep you can hardly see it but it does offer that three dot steel sights both front and rear and they are luminescent so once charged by light they will glow in the dark for a couple hours anyway so it gives that night sight effect but it does need to be charged in light like right now i've got my lights all over the place should be fine if i were to turn the lights off compact size four inch polygonal rifled barrel and a nice feeling handgun there's no doubt about that and i took it to the range on two occasions and i was very happy with the results just as i expected the vp9b performed great I was happy with it. It's a quick shooter. Now, the, the website says the trigger is a 5.4 pound trigger. And I already showed clear a couple times. does have trigger bar safety there. I am measuring it right at, I suppose I should. I measure, I'm measuring it right at 5 pounds. Pretty standard. Or shall I say pretty consistently measured at 5 pounds. And it does have a fairly short reset. But a nice pistol, some would consider it a high-end pistol. I don't know, does price dictate high-end? I don't think so. But some think that with HK. They are machined extremely clean. There is no doubt about that. Here you have a captured recoil spring and guide rod and your 4-inch polygonal rifled barrel. There is your slide. Okay, Nice setup. No arguments with anything to do with the gun. My biggest argument all along has been the price. And, you know, HKs. I've always acquired them by trade, by the way. You know, this is the first HK, HK I ever purchased. And happy with the VP9. I've had quite a few. I've had the, the P2000, the P30, the P30SK. You can see that I have the HK45 now. Now the VP9B. Let's hit the VP9 will charge when I force a mag in there. And it does. How about a limpress test? Uh-oh. 
What happened here? Okay, failure to eject. Let's try it again. <laughs> failure to eject once again. Yep, there's the case. Let's try it. <laughs> Failure to eject. So that's three times. And Failure to eject once again, see that? So whether this is new gun syndrome or not, have a little bit of a double feed here. There's a loose round. Whether this is new gun syndrome or not, I'm not sure. I will give an update when I, when I learn more about it. But right now, it did not pass the Lipris test. It's unloaded weight. We are looking at one pound, 10 and three quarters ounces. If we move that to just ounces, we're looking at 26 and five eighths or 26 and three quarters. I have 18 rounds considering one will be in the chamber, 34 and a quarter ounces. So it's right there with other compact size handguns, you know, mid thirties loaded. I do like that 17 round mag that they're they're now offering. I do like the fact that they are now offering them optic ready. This one clearly is not, and I'm okay with that. I knew that going in. I like the slide finish. I think they do a good job with that. I think it would hold up fairly well with the holster wear. And I've always appreciated HKs. I think they make it a, a real nice pistol. There's no doubt about that. I would have never owned as many as I have if I did not think that. Uh, I know I said it a couple times, but they are expensive. They really are. And so, you know, you, you have to be a committed shooter to go with an HK. But I certainly like it. I think it's a, a fine handgun. And I look forward to comparing this with other compact size handguns, as well as some handgun showdowns featuring HK. So I've got a lot in plan here. A lot, of, a lot of plans, I should say, and I hope to make good on each and every one of them. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.